What's up everyone, back again with another video. And so today, we will take a look at the Ismael Benassir Road to the Knockouts SBC. And why I would recommend doing these kinds of SBCs. I think they are invaluable to have in the middle of the field for your squad. So we'll take a quick look at these squad we're going to submit. These are all untradeable. And so the 89 Kane is the player that's going to be 85 and 86 plus. And then we have the serial card here. Uh, obviously, you can put in an 86 card as well, and that will work out just fine. Um, you would, you, if you were to build it from scratch, you would need you would need about 26k at the moment. With about as of this recording, there are about two days left to complete. So there's a pack animation there for the thumbnail. Uh, so. So we will now take a, we're going to take a quick look at the card. Actually, it'll be more of an in-depth look at the card. So, so he's about 25 years old, 5'9", high medium work grades for a CDM, for a CDM that, that's important to note. Uh, Left-footed, so play him on the left side, 3-star weak for 4-star skills. Uh, again, he defaults to the CDM, but you can also change his position to a center mid, which is very important. And which I will explain. Um, he is from Algeria, but he also has, he also represents Milan from Serie A. So even though the country links are not great, you can still link him to the best players from Milan and Serie A. So you can still put him in a good squad that can get, that can give him the max possible cam. Now the attributes themselves, uh, decent acceleration. So he'll get, he should be able to get reach his top speed quickly. Uh, shooting stats are not great, um, but his passing and his dribbling stand out the most. Yeah. So 88 short pass, 86 long pass, and 84 vision. Very important to note. Uh, pretty much all his dribbling stats pretty much are very, are very, very good. Uh, and his defensive and physical are solid, very solid, uh, with the exception being heading and strength. Uh, with the high agility and relatively low strength, that gives him the, ex the default accelerate of explosive. Now, um, you could uh, give him an anchor cam, make him more of a balanced center mid. If you if you wanted to use him as a lone as a lone center mid uh, or a lone CDM, uh, that would change it to controlled uh, for his accelerate. But uh, I would highly suggest to play to his best strengths. Um, take advantage of his passing and especially his, his dribbling especially with the um, current gameplay of FIFA 23 the way it is dribbling is more important right now than ever uh, and especially with his high medium work rates um, he would be, be best used as a attack oriented center midfielder uh, who can advance the attack push the ball up the field, preferably through the middle, and help set up his attackers for quality scoring opportunities. Uh, but having decent midfielders in your team that can dribble, that can dribble effectively uh, up the field is very, very important, especially in this version of the game. And he only has one player trait, which is a uh, AI oriented trade checker called Dribbler, which makes sense considering his high dribbling skills. So, let's go ahead and put him in the club, and then the best possible type of squad to put him in uh, would be to play him as a midfielder in preferably a 4 3 3. Uh, or a 4-1-2-1-2 uh, 
center diamond or a four two three one. Now this is not the going to be the type. This is not going to be the um, default formation. Of so custom tech. Although you could use them in that formation, I would probably you preferably use them in a four three three that pushes him further up the pitch with another midfielder. You can also use him as you mentioned a 41212 center diamond with these with these center mids. Um, you can and you can also use him in a 4222 formation um, which as long as you compare him with a C DM that is more defensive oriented and of course you can also use him as a 4 Two, three, one. Again, with a CDM that is more defensive oriented. So there you go. Uh, so that is it for now. So, we'll be back soon with a new video. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. Peace out and have a nice day.